We live in a sinful and fallen world. Most people are not happy with themselves and the way that God created them. Transitioning to someone or something that they're not has been a hot topic for years. And from the looks of it, it will only get worse. This couldn't be more obvious in the latest bizarre story of a Japanese native paying more than $14,000 to transform into a collie dog. Not saying that he's completely morphed into a canine, but paying over $14,000 for a customized collie suit is pretty bizarre if you ask me. So without further ado, let's take a look at the actual video from the I Want to Be an Animal channel. The channel link is in the description below if you'd like to check it out in its entirety. <music> <laughs> okay. 
Now, I'm only giving you my reaction and Christian perspective based on this YouTube video. So, according to the New York Post, bystanders appear to be in awe of the man's doggy debut as he paraded down a busy street in a viral clip, which has racked up more than 1.7 views. Toko completed the costume with a harness strapped around his furry abdomen, but admitted he was nervous and scared of venturing out in public. Do you remember your dreams from when you are little? You want to be a hero or a wizard, he wrote in the clip, describing his life dog dream as seemingly unrealistic. I remember writing in my grade school graduation book that I wanted to be a dog and walk outside. As an introduction to his unusual hobby, Toko answered a series of questions in a video posted last year, admitted he always had a vague dream of becoming an animal ever since he was a child. When I fulfilled that dream, this is how it turned out, he wrote in the clip, adding that he chose to become a collie due to the negligible size difference between the breed and humans. God created us in his image, and we are all wired in a sense to be creative. It is not a sin to have an imagination, but our imagination can result in sin if used opposite of glorifying our creator, which is God Almighty. We are all sinful creatures, and it is easy for you and I at times to fall into an active lifestyle of disobedience. So as a Christian, I must strive to renew my mind on a daily basis. Dressing up as a dog is not a crime or sin, but one must think about the reasons behind this type of behavior. Escapism is a slippery slope and very well could take our focus off God. Philippians 4, 8 says to think about things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, and praiseworthy. I don't know if this guy believes in Jesus, but as Christians, we must all be watchful and guard our hearts and mind from fantasies that are sinful. Unhealthy fantasies can be like a thief in the night, oftentimes catching us off guard. So my prayer is that if you're currently struggling with sin, that you allow God to penetrate your own heart and not be afraid to become accountable to someone who's safe and has your best interest in mind. As the world grows more cold towards what's true and noble, let's be watchful the end times are here and the world is growing darker by the day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, strive to live set apart. Be safe and take care.